I for sure. love pesto, and thank goodness you're making something with it today. <laughs> I am. I thought that I would share a burger recipe. Of mm -hmm. course, we're still hot in the summer. Yes. Um, and a lot of people are grilling, um, but of course, you can do burgers inside too. Um, so I was going to do uh, kind of a, a different twist on a burger today, and so we're going to do uh, caramelized onions and. Um, jalapenos and pineapple will be really good in it this would. too. Um, speaking of pineapple and then we're gonna um, put some pesto inside our burger and mm -hmm. then also um, do a pesto mayo on top. So I these thought, are a lot of flavors. This is interesting. Yeah and it comes together really well right um, and especially uh, with the onions you know have a little bit of sweetness and the jalapenos uh, have just a little bit of spice but of course um, once they cook down they everything just gets so tender and um, you can of course do whatever cheese you like but the pepper jack cheese on there is what I'm going to use uh, so just you know a little bit of sweet heat which I love that's kind of my favorite flavor combination yeah I, I, I like to like have some too. spice too um, the jalapenos I'm really excited for in this but pesto I just I think I told you you made some recipe with pesto mm -hmm. a few I say months ago but man, it's just one of those things that is good on everything. It really is. And uh, also like to use pesto when I'm doing turkey burgers, which of right. course you could do the same thing with um, with turkey. And this time of year, like my sister just said yesterday, she has so much basil and so much parsley growing that she was gonna make her own pesto. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh yeah, I love, my mom and I used to make pesto all the time oh. um, when I was growing up. And I'm just using jarred pesto today. But of course, if you were gonna make your own, um, it's so simple too and um, easy to do. Uh, so what I thought we could just get started with first because these onions and jalapenos are going to take quite a bit of time yep. to, to cook down. So I have a couple of tablespoons of butter in there and this is three large jalapenos I just sliced up. Did just, you take the seeds out? Yes, I took the seeds out and of course uh, a lot of the heat and jalapenos lives in those seeds yeah. um, and you can certainly leave them in but I also just don't prefer to have seeds in there either, which is just um, a personal preference, but you could leave them if you wanted a little bit more heat too. So, um, and that was also two large sweet onions I just sliced up. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add a teaspoon of salt to that and two teaspoons of sugar. And the sugar really just helps the process move along a little bit faster. And so you wanna cook it over medium heat and we're not, we're not on high heat. We're not trying to uh, saute them. We're just on medium heat because we want them to just start uh, cooking down um, not slowly but just where we don't get color on them immediately right and it's gonna take and you don't have to keep stirring all the time but it is gonna take um, about 45 minutes um, to an hour just depending on how long you um, you know how done you really want them and of course your your stovetop and whatnot mm -hmm. so it's kind of something good to you know get there you can kind of get everything else ready to go it's nice because you've made a lot of these but yeah. this is nice to keep in the fridge ah, just yes. to add to like a bowl or anything you're making a nice Absolutely. topping to it yes this would be great on pizza you could um, put this into a pasta dish um, it'd be great on the sandwich really anything so yes that's an awesome idea all right well when we come back with Lucy we will continue this burger I cannot wait to try it and also we'll tell you the latest to what's going on at Greer's that's heading your way on this Wednesday Jen Well, we are back in the kitchen with Lucy Greer with Greer's Market. She's cooking up a pesto burger with caramelized onions and jalapenos. And so far, you're only cooking the onions and the peppers, and they smell absolutely <laughs> delicious in here. You're right. It does smell so good. Yes, we started with two tablespoons of butter in there, and then we sliced up two large sweet onions and three large jalapenos. We added a teaspoon of salt and a couple of teaspoons of sugar, and we have them over, med just of course, depending on your stovetop, um, medium heat, uh, if you feel like you know you're not getting anywhere the medium high heat we just don't want it to be on super high yeah. um, but as you can see they're already starting to cook down I think they've been on for about 10 minutes or so um, and depending on how you like them I like to cook mine for about 45 minutes um, maybe a little longer and um, they're gonna be so delicious on our burgers so um, I am going to start on the burger now. We I just have a pound and a half of ground meat. You can use, of course, whatever um, sirloin round. Mm -hmm. um, this is ground beef. We have ground beef on sale this week. We're in our third week of our 107 ah, <laughs> 107 um, year anniversary. 
And so we have been celebrating for the last two weeks and this is um, our, our third and final week. All the stores have had um, customer appreciation days and some of them are scheduled for this weekend. So um, just depending on which store uh, you shop at, you can check with them and see when their celebration is. So it's been a lot of fun celebrating Aww. year 107. Well, here's my question. Are you adding mayonnaise? Yes. To the, I've never seen that so before. So I'm adding, that was, this is, you know, between one and a half and two pounds. And then I just did a little bit of salt and pepper. This is two tablespoons of mayo. And I'm adding two tablespoons of our pesto in here. And this is just jarred pesto. You find it right in the um, in the pasta aisle, mm -hmm. just where all the sauces and everything are. And it's um, a combination, um, which I was telling Chelsea, it's so fun to make it. Have you ever made it before? And I've not. Oh, so it's really good and it's so easy. So you should get a food processor or a blender and um, you can either use walnuts or um, classic as pine nuts, those little baby pignoli nuts. Mm -hmm. And then you do fresh basil. The majority, you can also add fresh parsley in there, uh, some garlic, some Parmesan cheese and olive oil. And that's it. And you just blend it all up and it is so delicious. You, if you have an opportunity to make it fresh, it really is I might, amazing. I might have to do that. Yes. I enjoy pesto. I actually found out that um, I have a peanut allergy oh. and I found out that I could have pesto accidentally so I could have pine nuts accidentally. Yeah. Um, we went to Sam's Club once and they had samples of like this ravioli with pesto sauce yeah. and we liked it so we bought it and my mom started making it at home. We were eating it and she was just reading the jar and she says, Oh my goodness, there's there's pine nuts and there's walnuts in this. And so we accidentally found out that I could have it. Oh, so, that is. And now I love pesto. Yeah. So. That is, oh my gosh, thank goodness you're okay. I know, it's one of those things that you don't, you don't think about. Yeah. That you wouldn't think it would be I know, because you don't sauce. really realize yeah, yeah. Like what's in it. Um, and it's, it's easy to make and it is so delicious. And it's great for all sorts of things. It's one of those things that um, if you just keep a jar in your pantry, mm -hmm. then you can add it to all sorts of stuff like burgers. Um, so that is it for the burgers. So there was just our pesto, mayo, a little bit of salt and pepper, and just depending on, of course, how large you like your burgers. A joke at my house growing up, my mom always said, I like my burgers way too big. I said hers are way too small. Although last night when we were eating, Spiro was like, this burger really is big. I'm like, okay, maybe my mom was right. So either um, this will make either four, five, six, just depending on how large you like them. Um, and then we'll just, we're cooking them inside today, of course. But, um, grilled burgers that is my favorite thing to come off the grill mm -hmm. so um, if you're going to be out and about this weekend in your yard and want to cook burgers this will be kind of a um you know a different kind of spin on them so we'll top it with our caramelized onions and jalapenos and then we'll mix up a little sauce to go on top awesome excited to see that end result we'll right. have more on that coming up in just a little bit all right, we're finishing things up with Lucy this morning. She yes. is working on that pesto burger with caramelized onions and jalapenos. Yes. Lucy, we are at the end of our process. We are at the end. I was just putting the pepper jack cheese on those burgers. So we started with uh, ground beef, which we have on sale this week for our 107th nice. year. And of course, we make all that in-house with all of the trimmings from our beef mm -hmm. that we uh, do with our, you know, of course, cut our steaks and our roast and everything. So the ground beef is really good. And I added in some mayo mayo and pesto in the burger. Right. Cooking that. And then we have in this pot our caramelized onions and jalapenos. We just started with a couple of tablespoons of butter, cooked all that down, had a little bit of uh, salt and sugar in there just to help that process. Mm -hmm. And our topping is a little bit equal parts, however much you want to make, pesto and mayo again. So this is going to really be, it's going to set our burger looks good off it is really really good so we'll just spread a little bit of this on top and mm -hmm. I think our um, burgers are ready to come off so I'll just build one real quick yeah so we'll do that on top and then again like I said you can cook these I mean these are you know perfect as is like that but if you want to keep cooking them um, you can do that too it's really just a total preference thing um, how far down you want to cook them so we'll just put our burger right here. Yum. And of course, any cheese you like. We're just using pepper jack. Um, we'll just top those onions and jalapenos right there. 
and we this are This is a burger, ready. Lucy. It's really yummy. I didn't get a knife out. You'll have to try it, though. So it's just something different, especially uh -huh. um, it'd be great in sliders. Oh my gosh. You know, just yeah. little ones would be really good. Um, and of course, too, you know, during the summer, a lot of people are watching carbs. So this one's great, too, because you could just omit the bun and you still right. feel like you're getting um, a nice, hearty meal and you wouldn't miss the bread either. So I just, you know, different. when we grill burgers at the house, I think of the typical ketchup, mustard, nothing wrong with that, lettuce, tomato, but yeah. it's nice to like just switch it up and this is a great way to do that. Yes, so it's um, really easy to do and um, you know, it's just nice because you can do it with turkey as well. Right. Pesto and turkey burgers works really good too. So just something different for everybody to try. All right, well, happy 107th, <gasps> 107th anniversary. I know, birth. I can't 107. Say it. 107. <laughs> something I'm like that. to 107. Greer's is 107. <laughs> we love Greer's. Happy birthday to them. Make sure you check out their ads that just dropped today.